Guys, we have got some new information about the new officer that is going to be coming to Warpath. This is going to be a fourth brand new officer. If you watched my 8.2 update video where we covered everything in regards to the 8.2 update, you guys saw three new officers in that video. And we have finally got our hands on some pictures and some details and some information on a fourth new officer that is in some way tied to one of the officers in the original three that we covered in the 8.2 video. The new officer's name is Marco Rossi. We are going to be covering all five of his skills, his four main skills, and then his fifth awakened skill. And we are also going to show how those skills, or one of those skills, I should say, in particular, is going to tie in to one of the three original officers that we covered in the update video. If you guys enjoy the video, find some value out of the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is gonna be in the description of the video below. Click on that link, it'll take you right into the community Discord server. Absolutely everybody is welcome, we'd love to have you. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video and cover everything about the new officer. Welcome back, guys. All right, we are going to jump right into all of Marco Rossi's skills here. We're going to go through the four main skills, and then we are going to take a look at the fifth awakened skill, and then we are going to take a little bit more of a deeper dive into some of these skills in particular. Marco Rossi is a versatile officer. He wears a versatile tag, uh, definitely offers some versatility here. Uh, and then towards the end, we're going to talk about, or at least I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on how we can utilize some of these skills individually and some of the roles that he might take on within Warpath. Skill number one, the tactical skill is Marco sprays the enemy down with gunfire, dealing damage to an enemy. Damage coefficient when level five and fully awakened is going to be 1500. Skill number two, this officer's troop has a 10% chance of triggering a critical strike when it attacks, dealing 150% damage. Skill number three, whenever this officer's troop attacks an enemy ground force troop, it has a 15% chance of resetting the target's load time and preventing them from attacking for one second. Can be triggered once every eight seconds, and this is going to be one of the skills in particular I want to talk about later on in this video. Skill number four, increases the damage of this officer's troop by 15%. Increases troop damage by an extra one if the troop is at least 2% map grids away from its target. Some funky wording there. What it actually means, I believe, is it's going to increase the damage by 4.5% or you're going to get an extra 4.5% damage if the target is at least one grid away or per one grid that it is away. And then the fifth and fully awakened skill here for Marco is Marco sprays the enemy down with gunfire, dealing damage to an enemy. Damage coefficient is 1500. He also runs down the target in his SV001 metal slug, dealing damage. Damage coefficient is 300 and reducing the target's damage resist by 15% for four seconds. If you guys have not watched my update 8.2 video where we did a full breakdown and talked about all of the big stuff that was involved in the 8.2 update, I really encourage you guys to go watch that video and then come back to this video because that's gonna give you some context as to some of the things that are involved with his skill set here. So this SV001 Metal Slug is actually a unit skin. It is going to be through the limited time event. This SV001 is going to be a Liberty main battle tank skin variation. Uh, so don't know if that's going to be permanent in the game or not. I assume since they've got an Officer's Awakened skill that's based basically solely around that, it is going to be permanent. But I don't know if there's going to be ever a chance in the future future to get that SV001 skin variant uh, for other unit types or if it is always going to be exclusively a Liberty main battle tank uh, kind of feature, if you will. Something that I do want to go over here since we can kind of connect the dots now. If Again, if you guys haven't watched my 8.2 update video, go check that out. Uh, we dis we discussed uh, Eri Kazumoto's skill sets, all of her skills in that video, uh, but there was a missing piece to one of her skills in that video, and now we are able to finally fill in that missing piece and connect all of the dots. So Eri Kazumoto's second skill here uh, increases the damage resist of this officer's troop by 5%. When paired with an officer with the Peregrine Falcon skill, 
their troop will also have a 4% chance to trigger a critical strike when attacking, dealing 150% damage. Well, it seems we have found that officer and the Peregrine Falcon skill, and it is going to be with Marco his second skill as well. This officer's troop has a 10% chance of triggering a critical strike when it attacks, dealing 150% damage. Now, the takeaway here is that Eri Kazumoto, to get that extra critical strike rate, the 4% additional critical strike rate, she has to be paired with the officer with the Peregrine Falcon skill. Now, it's a little bit of uh, confusion here, maybe, it says when paired with an officer with the Peregrine Falcon skill. Does that mean that you could theoretically use this second skill because it is a passive skill via the officer skill system and it would still work? We don't know. Does it mean that you truly have to have Eri Kazumoto completely paired on the two baseline officers with Marco Rossi to get that? We don't know. We'll have to wait and find out, but something to note there. Also, one additional thing to note, if you guys take a look at Lady Justice's skill, her uh, special skill is a critical strike rate chance of 15%. So if you com or if you combined Marco Rossi's 10% and Eri Kazumoto's 4%, that's 14%. So if you're looking for a critical strike rate skill, uh, then Lady Justice is going to give you 1% more of a chance to trigger that critical strike rate because 14% versus 15, there's your one extra percent. Not that it makes that big of a difference, but something to just kind of note there and keep in the back of your mind. I want to talk about uh, Marco's third skill here. Uh, it says whenever the officer, or whenever this officer's troop attacks an enemy ground force troop, it has a 15% chance of resetting the target's load time and preventing them from attacking for one second. Can trigger once every eight seconds. That could be a incredible and i mean truly incredible skill via the officer skill system i really like a lot of what marco's skill set has to offer here honestly he could be a really great baseline officer i think he might be in fact that's going to be my early prediction as marco is going to be a very vital and very important officer just in a baseline sense but of course depending on your unit setup and things like that there you know maybe he doesn't have a great spot in your lineup i don't know everybody's lineup is different uh but this is at least one skill that you can take that is going to be a tier one officer skill that can really be utilized in multiple different roles via the officer skill system obviously using a uh you know using it on a tank in standard you know open field combat tank to tank combat uh, that's obviously going to be helpful for you winning that battle. But something else that comes to my mind, because artillery is getting more and more popular, is you could run it on an artillery officer in the open field. And if you were able to uh, reset the target's load time in the open field, that artillery is done. It is gone. It is absolutely evaporated from the battlefield. Granted, it only has a 15% chance to trigger, but if it does trigger that you're going to win that fight if it's artillery versus artillery and you reset that load time and then it gives you that advantage that officer or that that other enemy artillery is gone it is over fights over the end period another role that i could potentially see this skill being vital on is with the increase or the buffs that infantry has been getting the popularity infantry has been receiving from the player base you throw this skill right here on an infantry unit paired with infantry officers and then you've got a whole army group of maybe artillery or maybe tanks or something like that following closely behind that that uh, infantry unit and this infantry unit starts pausing uh load times on other on the uh, units that it's targeting that could get vital i mean that's going to take a lot of organization a lot of coordination to get that to actually work and be feasible but if you could perfect that you could do a lot and i mean a dump truck load of damage on enemy units in the open field with this skill in particular obviously it's going to play a role as well in uh, base defense if you've got him either as a baseline officer on uh, one of your units or just the skill in particular so it could serve that purpose but it is going to definitely be a key role uh, or a key skill if you will for open field combat on a variety of units. Then his fourth skill here increases the damage by 15% plus an additional 4.5%. That can be another super, super helpful skill via the officer skill system if your uh, you know, unit lineup doesn't make sense to have Marco Rossi fully awakened. Uh, having this fourth skill potentially 
in your your lineup is going to be super helpful to that extra damage any amount of damage that you guys can pull out of these officers and put on your units is going to be infinitely helpful so i really believe there's going to be a lot a lot of value here in marco rossi let me know what you guys think in the comments about Marco Rossi. Do you think he's going to be a good officer, bad officer? Are you excited to have him coming into the game? Are you not excited? Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback in the comments. I'm personally kind of excited to have Marco. He seems to offer a pretty cool skill set here, both in his tactical and awakened skill, as well as, as his three passive skills. Seems like he's going to bring a whole lot of value into the game. There's a lot of officers that have been added to Warpath, and a lot of people don't like that. I personally don't mind it. I feel like it adds a level of strategic element to the game. You kind of have to pick and choose uh, what officers you're going to awaken, what officers you're not going to awaken, which officer skills you're going to invest in for the officer skill system, which ones you are not. So there's a lot of variety out there on the battlefield, and that's really truly what I enjoy about the game. It is a strategy game. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Marco Rossi and seeing how he can kind of fit into the mold in, in different battlefields, on different units, things like that. So I think there's going to be a lot of value there. I really do feel like he really actually embodies that versatile officer tag. He makes sense on tanks. Uh, he makes sense on artillery. He really, uh, especially with the officer skill system, some of his passive skills really make sense on any unit type and can really depending on how strategically well you play those skills and the units you use them on. I mean, you could be pretty, pretty effective on the battlefield with some of these skills, again, if used properly. Thanks for hanging out with me on this video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, if you guys found some value out of it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And again, if you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community Discord server, the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community server. Absolutely everybody is welcome. We'd love to have you. Again, thanks for hanging out with me on this video. We're going to wrap it up here and we will catch you guys on the next one.